welcome to the Style Chronicles. Thank you so much for joining me. I would love to share a current favorites video with you guys. Some items that I have been wearing, using, and loving lately. Items that are on the daily, literally on the daily. Um, so I'm going to share those with you shortly. Hello, my name is Erica and I like to create outfit and styling videos here on YouTube. I like to share hauls and things that I've purchased as well as pieces that I'm styling, outfits that I'm wearing and products and my dog, products that I'm loving and items that I just can't live without. You, so. I have also started filming some style session videos on my Instagram TV. If you are into those, they are sped up. Uh, videos where I style like one piece a number of different ways from casual to dressy um, and they're like two minute little videos really quick I do a lot of dancing um, in those videos so if you like those I will link those down below you can always find me on Instagram at the style cron and my blog thestylecron.com if you like these kinds of videos please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for continuing to be a part of my style cron family I really do appreciate all of you guys and all the interaction that you get me it makes this so worthwhile so thank you the lipstick that I'm wearing which is from elf it's the liquid matte lipstick by elf it's called modern metals this is a beautiful shade I had this color last year I, I picked it up on a target run two weeks ago and I love it it's just a great it's not red it's not orange it's not brown it's life <laughs> it has its life it's just a very pretty fall shade unfortunately it does not have a color name just 8 f 1 a e I don't know what that means I don't even know I don't like it when brands don't put names on things just call it like something so next is the foundation that I'm wearing currently that I am amazed by like literally just blown away it takes a lot for me to try a new foundation to begin with and secondly I don't like most foundations because I don't like the way they wear um, I have very oily skin and I like a very like very full coverage um, so a lot of times foundations are just too light in texture to cover what I like to cover. I have a lot of freckles that I just, I like my T-zone is always shiny um, and I don't like that. I like a matte look, but I like it to look healthy and glowy at the same time. I know that's a lot to ask. So for years I've stuck with the same foundations. This one is beautiful. It's the NARS natural radiant long wear foundation. So did you see that? It's got the long wear where I would wear my double wear, Estee Lauder double wear long wear and then it's got the natural radiance in it so it's matte but it's not flat you know what i mean like it's still glowy so very radiant very pretty very long wearing foundation this is the shade gobi which is the perfect shade i have a lot of yellow in my skin but i am very very pale at the same time so it's hard to get a good color match and in estee lauder i'm um one in two ecru and in mac i am in c15 those are the perfect shades for me this one is just yeah i, I love this one um it is water-based which is something that i am amazed by the fact that it's water-based um, i did not think i could find something that was water-based that was full coverage that could handle my oiliness and that was long wearing and i did so it's not heavy like the double wear is i still love double wear it's one of my favorite like dressy foundations this is like becoming my go-to um, i wear it in dressy occasions i wear it on the daily as well it's just phenomenal i think it's great it wears eyeshadow that i've been loving this is a estee lauder pure color envy shadow paint in the shade three brash bronze it's just a beautiful shade to wear you can do this with nothing like bare lid you just put it on and smoke it out a little bit look at that right there you see that it's a very pretty, just a bronzy color, just something to give like a little bit of color to your lid. Maybe you put it on below the crease and then smoke it out a little bit with a brush. You know, with just a pair of lashes for like a natural, but still very glowy, like daytime look. And then at night, you could really layer it up with a really pretty deep brown shadow and then put this on top for that added sparkle. It's just a really pretty, like smoky bronzy color for the lid. And these two are gonna go kind of hand in hand because they both add shine and brilliance to your skin and your hair. Um, but this one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shimmer Body Oil. Look at that. And look at the, we have to shake it because it settles, but look at the glitter in there. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. How pretty is that? It's like a perfume. It smells so good. It smells coconutty, 
vanilla y I don't know it smells really so good just spray onto your skin I like to wear it if I'm wearing something that's backless or I like high necks so I like where my shoulders are showing a lot I'll spray it on my um, shoulders and it just defines your skin it's so pretty your skin looks beautiful and glowy and healthy um, and then I also spray it on my legs when I'm wearing short skirts or shorts and it is glittery so you do get that gold kind of sparkle which I love um, but I just got a new car and it has black leather interior and I sprayed this both Eva and I sprayed it on our legs one day and then we went out like as a family and the black leather had these like gold sparkles on it so caution if you are worried about vehicle finishes and stuff like that because it did leave some glitter on the, the seats on the leather seats and I did wipe it down um, but there's little sparkles you can catch a glimpse of every now and then yeah, but so. it definitely is something that like if you're dressed up it's super super okay. pretty and then for hair this Redken shine brilliance it's a shine flash 02 it's just a finishing spray it's a glistening mist so you don't need a big one that's why it's not big like my hairspray bottles are huge this one's just a little bitty travel size one uh, like you just literally spray it and the shine that it gives your hair is beautiful you just want to add some shine in when you're done styling it sometimes we flatten it so much you know we take out the brilliance of shine to it and I I love dark shiny dark like hair that is kind of you know what I'm working towards is getting some length all one kind of length and some blunt like a blunt bob but just all one length that healthy glow that you want for your then hair. my lashes which are these they're huge they're almost spidery um, but they're so like they're large sometimes I buy lashes and I see them in the case and I'm like okay those are gonna be pretty and then I put them on and I'm like where are my lashes like it doesn't look any different and these are just they're in your face they're huge right they're like whew. so these are the kiss 01 lashes and you can see how large they are but when I wear these I get asked like are you wearing false lashes what false lashes are those can you text me a picture of package that you bought um, and I just picked up these at, at HEB like local you know HEB package I was like yeah those are big enough and they are you can see let me get closer you can totally do you see that look how big they are I love them they're big and they're fluffy and I like that I like when you know you can see everything's going under me now um all these products that I put right here anyhow so I like that you can see that I'm wearing lashes because that's what opens up my eyes. I have very flat eyelids, so I have very like a mono lid without a crease. And when I wear lashes, it just opens it. I don't have to worry about the fact that my eyes are so small. I just put a color back there, put a lash on, and my eyes look big. Next, the um, next thing that I wanted to talk to you about are nails. I don't like nail salons. I don't go to nail salons to have my nails done. I don't like someone picking at my nails. I'm also terrified of fungus and the icky stuff that comes with nail salons. So I don't like to get them done. However, I love my nails done. So I like to do them myself. I like for them to be finished. I don't like bare nails. I don't like chit nails. What I have started doing is gel nails. And the system that I started using to do my gel nails is from Walmart. I picked it up at Walmart. It's called the Sensational or Sensation Nail sensation nail and, and white and I actually wore the white all summer long and I loved it um, and then I'm wearing this one and I'm loving this one as well I also have like a burgundy color and a taupe that are really pretty yeah. it's a great little system you soak it off so no damage at all when it cures it's kind of sticky so then you wipe it off with some alcohol and you're good to go and it's shiny for they look professionally done you know, Eva is at that age where all her friends have acrylics and yeah yeah let's give 11 year olds acrylics Mm -hmm. sure I don't know who I don't know which mom thought that was a good idea but I don't think 11 year olds need to have acrylics on their fingers for any reason um, and trying to express that trying to get Eva to understand no you're not going to have acrylics put on your nails anytime soon um, has been difficult but I can do her nails with the gel nail and it looks really pretty and she's happy because they look professionally done she's happy with her nails and they always look good the number one thing that I have been kind of in love with since I purchased is this hat I find a reason or a way to wear this hat 
all the time because I just love the brown. I love it. I just think it's such a great little hat. It's perfect for fall. It's from Amazon. I will put the link down below um, and it is a great price point. It's literally, it's under 20 bucks. I just really like this color. I think it's pretty. It's like a cognac shade and I find any reason to, you know what? We're just going to leave it on. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave it on. This is also from Amazon. Loving this because it is so lightweight. So this blazer, which is so different from any blazer I've ever owned because it is so thin. It's like just, I don't know, it's a very thin blazer, but I like it because you can layer it on top of things or items and not be hot in the heat. I like the cool black gray tone that it has. I have a lot of warm toned blazers in my wardrobe currently. This camisole is from Target. It is the A New Day collection in the size small. This thing is like, I think I take, I take it off to wash it and it hangs up to dry for a day and then it's back on. And I'm wearing it with jeans, with shorts, with my denim skirt. Um, it's just on repeat. And I love it because it's that really pretty rust color and you don't really notice that it's animal print, that it's leopard until you get up close um, and you see the texture of it, which is really nice. It's a great transitional piece, isn't it? Because outside. it's it's yeah. cool enough to wear while it's hot outside, um, but it's that rust color that's fall like. I always have one. There's always one camisole that I'm wearing out faster than the other ones. Please. This blazer. <laughs> because of the color you can see it goes with everything it goes with this hat um i love this camel shade a lot it's i think a very flattering color it's just skin it's like the color of skin it's like one i don't know especially if you're really into monochromatic it's a great color to own in a blazer because you can wear this year round it's seasonless it's effortless it's classic um, you can throw it on. It looks dressy. It looks casual. You can just do so much with it. Okay, you guys know I'm obsessed with Spanx. I have these. I've worn them for years now. I have the Moto ones. Then I get this in the mail and look at those wide leg slacks. Seriously, call my freaking name. Look at that little bitty waist and those flare leg slacks. If you are petite, if you are short, these are awesome awesome anything that nips your waist in that much but flares out at the bottom and makes you look longer is phenomenal so these are definitely on my wish list there's a number of different ones they have like cropped ones they have flare ones flare crops they have very wide leg then they have these which are on the cover that i am in love with these right here and then there's like the crop legging um so they have black pants for everybody and they they're are like 130 you know they're they're spanx prices they're pull-on washable and super versatile comfortable like pull-on washable black pants what more can you ask for that means they're so comfortable the black moto leggings which are fabulous these are quilted which i don't have and then these, the camo ones, which I had, but I sent those back because I just thought, you know what? I have the other ones. What do I need? The camouflage ones. But then I got them in regular, yeah. And they're just, look. And I love, I live in them. You can wear them so many different ways. Leggings, these hip zip ones. Do you see that? Look at those hip zips. Oh my goodness. They have zippers at the hip. That's awesome. I haven't tried the jeans yet. They make jeans. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you are loving currently, what skincare, body care, hair care, and clothing items you are enjoying as of late. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.